Facing Argentina, Chile, and Kenya, the Canadian men have arguably one of the easiest draws it has faced at an international rugby board event in some years. That being said, with a rash of injuries and a young squad, this team is taking nothing for granted. Showing well in a Thursday scrimmage against Australia, the whole unit worked hard at getting on the same page, with veteran Morgan Williams integrating with Manitoba's Rob Turk and Vancouver's Nathan Hariyama to join the squad. Coach Shane Thompson is feeling quietly confident about the weekend's prospects. Um, it, it's a good draw for us, there's no doubt about it, but the teams are still good. Like, Kenya has been in the, for the two, first two out of three, they were in the top round. Argentina has always been good, it's just they, they struggled last week, but the first two, they are fine. So even though it's on paper a better draw, it's still not an easy draw by any means. Every team is beatable, but every team is also could beat us on the day. So it's, we have to come out, uh, do all know our roles, do the things that we can do well, and shut them down. Phil Mack, who was recently named Sevens Player of the Year in Canada by Custom House, says in his third season, the confidence in his team is growing. I think you just start to learn little tricks here and there, and how to respond in certain situations, which really helps, but I don't know, I haven't really noticed much of a change. It's always kind of scary. Win them. Yeah, well, I, I can't remember the last time we've had such a good draw with Argentina, Kenya, and Chile. But uh, yeah, we just take it game by game and try and knock them one off at a time. Foster's Dean so Van long. Camp is feeling um, that confidence as yeah, well. We need, we know, welcomes we know the return of Morgan team. Williams yeah, to competitive play again, so. after his retirement at the World yeah, Cup we'll last October. Band. Oh, oh yeah, it's good to have a little bit of experience in there. It makes makes me, I'm not the oldest guy on the team anymore, so it's good too. <laughs> well, maybe a little bit, you know, like we've got a, as far as the teams go here, we've got a young team for sure. But uh, yeah, uh, I think we've got a good mix right now, young guys and experience with Morgan coming in. So I think uh, things should be good this weekend. One of the new faces on the team, Newfoundland's Kieran Hearn, has turned heads in his first tour, and he is feeling good about how he's performed so far. Yeah, it was pretty good. We had a tough, um, tough go with it with uh, New Zealand and Samoa. Pulled a couple of trials against uh, Samoa, but uh, all in all, uh, it was a good experience. You know, getting out there, getting to play against some of the best in the world, it was a good experience for me. Uh, just the pace of the game, really. Uh, there's a lot of fast guys out there knowing how to uh, angle them off to the corner is probably the biggest thing, because you never know. Like I had my first tour and and. Uh, just knowing who the guys are to give more room so you can track them down. It's really tough out there. Remember, you can hear all the games live online from San Diego through RugbyCanada.ca and AmericanRugbyNews.com. We start calling the game Saturday morning starting just after 10 a.m. Pacific. Join us, a Rugby Canada exclusive. In San Diego, Doug Cross reporting. Count on three. One, two, three. Canada.